Master Tim Scott here with XL Taekwondo, and I'm bringing you our uh, informational video on our breaking event, creative breaking. Okay, so the creative breaking is going to be for all uh, youth, teen, and adult. Okay, now the youth uh, competitors will be using a full size board, but about half of this uh, thickness here, so about a half inch or so. Okay, um, all teen and adult will be using a full board just like this one, which is three fourths to one inch thick. Okay, now uh, for the um, creative breaking, everyone, we want you to set up three stations because everybody is going to be breaking three boards. Everyone will. All right. Now, how you set this up is you need to think of the flow of your how your uh, pattern uh, wants to be. Okay, so how you want it to be. Now, just for example, if I have, you know, over here, I have like a hammer fist. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to do a step behind side kick. Okay, then I turn to the front and I do like an awesome jump front kick. Okay, that will just be an example of a flow. You see, it went from one right into the other, right into the other. It wasn't a lot of like, you know, I turned over here and then I came over, I turned over there and then I went over there. We need it to flow. Okay, and that's what you want too, just for your sake and for your efficiency. All right, now, like I said, everyone's gonna be breaking three boards. Everyone will have one minute to set their holders up and then one minute for the actual performance. You do not have to present yourself on this. We'll just come up, we'll tell you to cherry up Kyung Ye, and then we will tell you to start. All right, now, you have three tries on each board before you have to move on. For example, if I have my uh, hammer fist over here and I go one, boom, doesn't break. Two, boom, doesn't break. Three, boom, I miss that board. That one's off to the side. I move on to the next one. Okay, we are going to uh, um, kind of uh, uh, score you guys on showmanship and intensity. So what that means is, you know, how awesome are you at your pattern? Does it look like you're, you know, just figuring it out right now? Does it look like you, you know, just kind of are going through it, one over here, one over here? Are you barely key upping? Okay? You are going to key up on every break. You don't have to do it before, after, or anything like that. You're going to key up when you break the board. So, for example, um, in my scenario here, I had, you know, my hammer fist, my step behind side kick, and my jump front kick. Okay? So, my showmanship would be, of course, showing proper respect when we bow in. Now, I get in my garden stance, and I'm going to give, uh, from here, I'm going to start, and I'm going to give a major key up. Aya! Right here. Turn! Aya! Turn! Aya! Right there. That would be your showmanship and intensity. Okay? And then the other part is that we're going to grade you on efficiency. So how many times did it take you to break the board? Like I said, you only have three before you have to move on. And you can't go over that one minute time frame. Which one minute is plenty of time for three uh, breaks, okay? Now, you can use your own holders, you can use ours, either one is fine. Just make sure that you know what you're doing. Make sure your holders know what, you're, what they're doing. Know where to set them up properly inside of the 6x6 six six puzzle mat ring. And just rock the heck out of it, okay? So, for example, we have two competitors. Number one is the one that I just showed you. Had Super intensity when they're breaking. The flow was awesome. The difficulty of the moves was, you know, pretty moderate. Okay, so it's good. But then we have competitor number two who, you know, does like a, a, a jump spin hook kick. Boom. Doesn't really yell. Kind of does it slow. Kind of just walks over to here. You know, they do uh, a jumping axe kick. Boom. Kind of yelled, just kind of did it slow, but then came up here, just kind of walked up here, and then, you know, maybe did uh, a not a bong or a 540 or 720 or something like that. Okay? See, the thing is that the difficulty was harder, yes, but maybe it took that competitor about two tries. All right? And the first one had moderate difficulty, amazing showmanship, amazing intensity that person's going to get the higher score because they're so well put together rather than this person who's just kind of walking over here, walking over here, kind of breaking it, maybe taking a couple tries, 
All right, it's about efficiency, showmanship, and intensity. That's what we're scoring you on. I hope this helps everybody. Uh, make sure to ask your instructor for help maybe setting up a little pattern or routine, and we'll see you on December 1st for a creative breaking event. All right, thanks.